How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Very philosophical, Chloe. Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? It's definitely been a bit more of a somber start to the episode than uh, the first one was. Although starting off with a rock concert is probably quite a uh, good way to go about things. Go on, we can do it up! I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Oh, what a text. Forgot about that. Mm -mm -mm. He's such a damn right. <sighs> Fuck's sake, Mum. Seriously. Where's the other uh, things then? Hmm. Oh. Oh crap, wrong one. James and Rose. Her dad seems like the most normal. Yeah, cheating day quad. Oh, 13. Another letter to Max. That I'll never send. Oh wow, she's got Max on every single thing. Might have cut out of it. Bane of fascists. <laughs> Get battery, button truck. To the point. I guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Is there gonna be one in here? I wonder if I'll ever ride one of these again. Eh, probably not. Max and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but who knows? I know it was American Rust. American Rust. <laughs> Sounds about right. Look at that. I glanced at that and thought it was a fucking pool or something. <laughs> mm. oh. You're a long way from the beach. I'm definitely not going to help us get the car going. I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. <laughs> Fuck everything. Here's the side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. Lovely. Huh, I wonder. That's probably the best bet for a winner. But we'll check this just in case. Hmm. 
This one won't work. Oh, ghost as well. Oh look, just casually pointing to the car, which may or may not have it. Hello, bird. Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. I really thought crime paid better. Hmm. This thing looks somewhat new. Maybe the battery still works? What? Actually, why the hell are we doing that old one up instead of just, like, taking this? What are you trying to hide under their hood? Unless they're actually going to fully come back for it. Which case, nah, probably be bad at this jacket. It looks like it's been good, to be fair. We're in. In official car speak, this is the thing that makes the other things do their things. <laughs> oh, Chloe. Here we go. The pick of the litter. Let's go put it in a runt. But not before we have a look around here. I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. Ow. I guess those days are now officially over. This Matt has seen some things. Mostly feet. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. Pretty much caught up now, so shitty recording stuff aside. Hmm, I think I'm all smashed out. Or rather, just being a fucking colossal idiot. Oh, wow. I told you about. Didn't see that this time. It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. Anything of note around here? Considering a blank this first time. A pirate flag. Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> hmm. Nah, funny. I know one fire that doesn't need any poking. Oh, wow. Ooh, so, hello, Chloe. Yep, that's still going quite well. Are we going to be allowed to go out? No, this is a vortex club I wouldn't mind joining. Ooh, Christmas lights. Gotta love a place where even Christmas looks depressing. Don't want to leave yet. Oh, God damn it. Hmm. You're a long way from the country club, guy. Oh, let's go. We're climbing. Hmm. Oh, come on, Chloe. Put your arms in it. Cigarettes. Bloody weak attempt. <laughs> right. Makes you harder. And up, oh, oh, up we go. Is so much quaint <laughs> than the first one so far. Except the big looming threat of a that massive forest fire. Shit. Alright, fire's cool and all, but fuck it. 
What doodles. do I want to tell my fellow sailors of the seven trash heaps? Got it. Considering that there was the uh, buried treasure line earlier, let's go with that. Also, um, uh, treasure would be one way to describe something that might get buried here sooner or later. Hey. I think. Fuck it. Rachel set that fire. I don't think she meant to, but I also don't think she didn't mean to. Fuck it. If this, if these games do one thing well, it's these little ceiling things. Crazy that something so destructive can also be so beautiful. Or a fire that began in a trash can could grow to light up the entire sky. In conclusion, fire. Pretty sweet. The bird you are is going in the way he tied, so no one will stray. Yep. Definitely pretty cool. Is that Blackwell in the background? I think it is. Sorry, Hen. You got a lovely voice, but we can't even sit here all day. We got a car to fix up. And then the next project's the boat. Mind your fingers, Hen. Yeah, okay, some point. And also, Chloe, you're um, on your own here. I have no idea how to do up a car. Or a truck. Screwdriver. Have we checked to see if there's enough petrol in it? Damn. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Rachel. Is that um, a little can I come to yours? Oh, we got a day. While an escape hatch could be nice. I should probably cover over this massive hole. Mm, might be an idea. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. Oh, there's another. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. I think I know where Ron is. Anything else? Anything? Nothing? No. Oh, hello, Chloe. Okay, let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. <laughs> Odds on just sticking that through the floor and freaking the person out who sits there. We'll take 
that. This could cover that torn seat and look awesome doing it. There's a light bulb. Take. You might not work. Then again, I hardly ever work. Is there a board or something? What about this? Nope. How about this? Yeah. You should cover that life endangering floor hole quite nicely. I'm not, I'm not sure a fucking welcome mask can be too uh, safe to stop someone slipping through a pissing hole. Although it's not that big. But still, you can still flint stone a car. Not a bad job, to be fair. And light. And last but not least, cover up the hole. <laughs> Great job. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? It's right out of it. Yeah? Frank, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, <laughs> we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Christ. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. A junkyard? That's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And Frank? Yeah, it probably is a burner phone because we didn't recognize it, but let's check in and see if everything's cool. I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? Uh, <laughs> like, mm, yeah. Yellow, Just don't look at the sky. Yeah. We'll Although, technically, it was Rachel who came there. Just saying. We go get that radio. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. Does your truck look like an aquarium on wheels? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think so. The inaugural truck tag. You only get one chance to make a first expression. Oh, what was it? I think it's mystical. To make it look like that she had in the uh, first game. Great English there, by the way. Yay, I think it was. The eye sees all. Oh, come on, we've got to. <laughs> Such a child. I love how they're so concerned about friggin' drugs and alcohol, and yet they didn't pull up us up for six. I'm trying to reach out. I know I'll get there soon. There's a hole in the earth here, and we're walking round the edges. You were really those do these scenic shots well. 
Open wounds, I can't express them better than you. You have buried childish qualities from me. Um, shit. I slept all day. Well, what the hell? My boss, exactly. is yeah dad god we are haunted as fuck by our past if we keep seeing a dad in this eh Like this, the day. Don't think about it. Day it Just don't think about it, Han. I miss him. Oh, so much, Dad. What are we doing? Here. I'd like to know as well. Uh, are you trying to tell me something? Fuck it, let's stick a marshmallow. Might as well, let's commit to being completely batshit crazy. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us, just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. But what the fuck is going on? There's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. 
That's why you need to be careful. Uh. Careful of what? Of getting burned. Oh. Okay. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. <laughs> Not that. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? <sighs> We're not making this mistake. I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, that little wink! It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow towel? A freaky red light? Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. Uh. Hmm. Fuck it, question it. Like, for us to run away? Oh, I, I guess I wasn't thinking about it that way. Are you getting cold feet? I thought you were all bye-bye Arcadia Bay last night. I still am. I guess. You guess? It's not so easy. This truck doesn't even start, and we don't have any money. We can figure all of that out. I have no doubt. Besides, there's no rush. True. I don't know, I Chloe probably wants well. out. Holy shit. That Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah, totally. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's go with us on a hit. Go down this route. Unchecked. You're the one who went all puff the manic dragon on that tree last night. Fuck! Fuck! What were you thinking? Fuck! I, was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But come on, doesn't accomplice sound way cooler than accessory after the fact? <laughs> is that the official Arcadia Bay DA's opinion? Accomplice it is. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. <laughs> God, <laughs> I don't think we've got enough time. I shouldn't have been the other way around. Well, Doc. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks... 
he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. Punch him. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? <laughs> Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? Come on, step. It's got to be step douche. He's, uh, step douche, because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. Poetic. May I also suggest step ladder? Why step ladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. Let's go Blackwell. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> That's harsh. <laughs> Probably true. Touché, Doc. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Perhaps this friend of yours, who I reiterate must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. How to steal wine from yuppie picnickers? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. Fair point. That makes sense that was actually somewhat therapeutic thank you Your turn. it's always a pleasure delving into the mind of chloe price and now it's your turn tell me all about what it's like being daughter of arcadia bay's most famous scumbag it sucks too blunt Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Aww. Can we talk about something else? Go for it. Of course. Play? Uh, <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. When you think about it, getting suspended from the play is a good thing. Oh, that play. You don't have to wear that silly costume and prance around stage like an idiot. Maybe I like prancing around stage like an idiot. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I can see it, to be I fair. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? Uh, I mm. Oh, fucking hell, I don't know. This is such a shitty, simple decision, yet yeah, I'm probably thinking about it. Oh, fuck it, it's getting on the good side. You just need someone around who likes you for who you are and isn't afraid to call bullshit when needed. Let me know if you find any candidates for the job. I volunteer. That's what Chloe is now thinking. Shit. It's playtime. 
gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh well. Definitely like I made a drug dealer, so... Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. I'm so down. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Who wouldn't be fucking driving anyway? That shit does not work. Oh, I like Rachel. She pretty chill. She's pretty chill. <laughs> Hello, Junk Shack. Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. Must make you one in. <laughs> yeah, I rolled a wall against Wells. <laughs> Um, it is on. Anything else to disprove sort of the place? It's gotta be done. It's got to be done. It's time once again for your Arcadia Bay fact of the day. Did you know that Oregon has more ghost towns than any other this state? This place is the There's shit. more ghosts, more ghouls, like... and more things that go bump in the night. Sweet dreams, Arcadia Bay. It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. Hey. This elephant fucking rules. Go on, I lost in a bag. A bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. Fuck it. Let's go for it. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Can we only do one? Oh no. No, we can only do two. Oh, come on, let's go with that. Looks cooler. Nah, let's keep it. Hang on, that fucking jet's still there. No, I just need a photo of David. <laughs> Alright, Frank, where you A prompt end to the fucking music. That's 
the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. This bitch. Weird. Yo, Frank. It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? <laughs> Christ, get your ass in here. <laughs> Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that one? Ah! God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Go <laughs> <laughs> oh, my fucking ways. <laughs> Now I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? Betting slip. Twelve hundred dollars? Oh, that's not anything. Way out of my league. People leave their info when they damage someone's car? <laughs> Fight the power. We don't typically see fires like this on the Oregon coast this time of year. Ugh, gross. Beans again. Wait, Frank got a puppy. For real? Oh, that's why Sting's a piss. <laughs> Rachel, the therapist, would have a field day with this. Piss, have you say? Mila Kuhn is single. <laughs> Fucking bro. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, days. <laughs> what does Frank really need to remember? Fuck it. Got it. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Wonder what Frank eats when he gets the munchies. Beans. Fucking beans. <laughs> That's an insane amount of beans. Bomb sauce. For the man who enjoys searing pain with his driver. Frank must be spending hundreds of dollars on this dog. I guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy of drug stashing. We won't be a dick. Guess in a dog's in here. Wow, that pillow is 
fucked. Definitely dead. Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. Because hmm. Frank finally gave up on the stake. A throne fit for Frank. We have his book. Is this what I think it is? Ah, uh, shit. I'm in the red. Fucking drew with over a grand. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. But I'm French for I'm Does interested. It mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Actually, let's hmm. Let's push for it. Yes, okay, yes, we've done this. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Eh. No shit, Frank. You think I don't know about hiding things from other people? I'm a teenager. Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. That's got a point, to be fair. Oh, let's use Stream Cloud. Hey, so uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too. See, we're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Eh, mm, fuck it, I'm not sure about this. Frank, this is Arcadia Bay. Gossip is all we have to keep. Yeah, clean, clean sweep. I don't know. Frank, talk, and I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh, Beans. How about that firehouse chili of hers? You got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. Shouldn't have opened my mouth. Okay. Thanks. Oh, I'd push too much further. Telling me. We got a name though. You hear the mill burn down? <sighs> Shit. Really? Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Money for obviously a fucking mill. How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? No. But I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait. Do you have it? Eh. Give me like another week. I don't have enough right now. I wonder if I'll ever get tired of your crap. You're lucky you're the least of my problems. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Yeah, he's 
Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? Fuck it. Start in front of uh, He's an unreliable douchebag. No, this is the first time he's done this. The kid is actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Um. Fuck it. I don't know what's in it for me. Yeah, of course. But what's in it for me? Idiot. You still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Ooh, okay, oh, okay. We're in. Okay. We need the money to get yeah. out of it, so... Sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. That's a point. If you can't even do this price, a hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. Go on a little bit of a nap. Good deal. 